I walked back to my car and that was dangling, just dangling there. All right, this is my third day in the Florida Keys. I've got a little bit of an okay window this morning. Looks like I'll get three hours of fishable weather. Played musical cars just now to get my kayak down to the launch point. Terrain is a little rocky. And then on top of that, sometimes parking changes every year where to park. So yeah, I gotta do a little homework the, the, the day before. And then uh, tomorrow looks a lot better the day after. So I'm getting some better days coming so I can hopefully do some, some interesting stuff. Seven mile or Bahia Honda, whatever I could get on. I do remember last year, as soon as it warmed back up, those bull sharks were back. So hopefully I won't have a problem with that. All right, I've got no clue. I'm gonna head over to the, the big Indian key bridge right now. Guess I don't have the right anything for a mirror lore. D-man shrimp, old sleazy shrimp. These are good. Just make sure that hook's good. Been sitting in that bag for a while probably. It's a 3 8 ounce jig head. Let's see. Tried a couple spots quick. They looked good. I had a couple small bites, but nothing worth connecting on. Definitely gonna get some rain here, I think. It's Brunson, huh? Grunt? Yeah. Wow, he's so like white from the, the sand down there. All right, all right. He's not big, but he's a snapper. All right, that's a snapper, yeah. Guess that can be a million this size snappers here. Oh, look down. These guys are kind of cool. Remind me of an African pompano kind of. I'm using the Z-Man Easy Shrimp for now. Actually, I hope that's a jack and not a shark is my original phrasing of that. That is a jack. Goliath oh, grouper. Shoot. Oh my gosh, he's got some scale marks on it. I would release this grouper in the water, but I've had bad luck with bull sharks on these bridges, so I will take it out of the water. What's worse than feeding a fish to bull shark? But yeah, that's some nasty uh, infection he's got on him. I would have released this fish in the water if I knew that. If I, if I knew I wouldn't hit a shark there, but like I said, I know there's a tax man down there. What a crazy fish. Whew, that's a pretty decent one, man. That's a pretty decent one, man. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty cool on a Penn Battalion rod. I thought that was going to be a jack. <laughs> so there are sharks here. I'm, maybe they're not, but all right. Let's do that drift again. Maybe that's a better zone. Yeah, that's what we got that grouper on. That's a 3 8 ounce jig head Z-Man Easy Shrimp. It works, it works. I thought that was going to be a Jack Creval or a shark. I'm guessing that infection would be fatal on that grouper. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> 
that's my biggest look down so far. I think they get bigger than that even. And even the, the tough days of weather here are, are still fun because they're so just, yeah. Just so wild and random like that. <laughs> Go from a Goliath grouper to a pancake fish on the same pathway. <laughs> Try something different here. You can do a nice long drift. There's a lot of fish in here. Right? Let me get my rain jacket on. Honestly, it's the wind that came up with it. If this wind drops back out, that's not gonna be that bad. Just realized something pretty embarrassing here too. I'm currently missing, I didn't run the, didn't run my line through a guide. It's embarrassing. All right, let me re regroup here for a second. I think that wind dropped right back out. I don't know how often you guys do that. I do it every now and then. Uh, not too often, but it does happen. I think that's a lane snapper. Yeah, lane, right? <laughs> I, I promise I won't do this for very long. Just waiting for that wind to back off again. Or if it doesn't, I might be doing this all afternoon. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't horse fish in with a Mr. Crappie jig head here. <laughs> oh, um, is that a Margate? I think that's a Margate, yeah. I think these guys are related to grunts. I think those are related to grunts. Not, not the snapper family, I could be wrong though. All right, this thing's getting instant bites though. We're gonna hook like a snook or a grouper on this. We, I just know it and it's gonna crush us. This corner's a lot clearer here at least. Pretty cool. It would be my first Mackinac tarpon. Perfect size, too. And I got a pin, too. I can't do that too often. Well. Gotta get him away from this piling though. I should start packing a couple gloves with me too. It's not the heaviest of leaders, but let's give it a try. Oh, there we go, broke them off. 
Oh well. So, not the strongest hook, so I think he'll be okay. Hate leaving a hook in him, but I should have been a little bit more cognizant of what I was doing. It was a 30 pound leader. I thought I was gonna hold up on him, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's not my favorite brand. And I know this brand's got a lot of loyal uh, followers. It begins with the letter Y. Um, so that was 30 pound and I popped him there. Four turn uni knot. I gotta always keep that on my radar too, right? <laughs> those, those tarpon love small profiles. So goofing around for something else, gotta keep in mind you'll come across one. Well, the wind really kicked up over there. So I'm gonna work these rocks one more time. And I think that's all I could do with, with the wind being this strong. We'll see if it lays back down again, but it's white capping and I think this is gonna come and go all day. So I'm gonna cruise down this area here in a second. <laughs> Gulp shrimp look down. Nice fish. Jack. Oh, look at that mangrove, dude. Is that a mangrove? Oh my goodness, that it would be a PB. Might be a grouper though. I think that's a snapper. Oh my goodness. What is it? Maybe it's a, oh, it's a snook. I thought that was a mangrove snapper. Oh, confused, buddy? <laughs> I thought that was a uh, mangrove snapper. I was about to, yeah, you start going micro though, you're gonna have to deal with stuff like this. Went a little hard on him, cause yeah. A couple bites on the, the micro jigs. One snuck, he was probably like 20 inches, 22. Bent the hook out on him. I thought it was a mangrove snapper. I got really excited then. All right, we're cruising over to another bridge. It's a little smaller. Who knows? I'm surprised I didn't get any jacks. You know, yellow jacks, jack reval, none of that stuff. It's actually kind of chilly out too. I'm gonna put the jacket back on. Um, just cruise control into next bridge over. Um, granted my conditions, I'm super happy with how that went. Uh, Would have loved to not put that hook in that tarpon, but I guess I got a little overconfident in that leader after uh, after that Goliath, I was like, oh, it'll be fine. Three eighths ounce back and all, that's what I hooked the tarpon on. Small profiles, figured I wasn't gonna hook anything. If I'm gonna catch anything to eat, it's gonna be probably on a small lure is what I was thinking. My wife gets into town on Monday, so maybe we could do like a trip like that, just casual. You know, those look downs seem pretty cooperative for the most part. And um, I bet they're good to eat. I've heard that too from a lot of people. Um, they don't look like they have much fillets on them, but I'm guessing you eat the skin on them too. I'm gonna hit one other little spot here and then I, I think I'm gonna just call it a day. Didn't fish very long, but that Goliath had a rot on it. I bet, I wonder what that's from, if that's a common uh, skin rot. I don't know, you know, comment below what kind of skin rot. I see skin rot on um, red drum, skin rot on striped bass. Those fish do get a lot of that stuff, but that looked different. I don't know if that's a water quality thing or just, you know, injury. I'm a little spooked out after last year. I saw quite a few more bull sharks than I, I usually encounter. You know, I'll be down here for two weeks. Maybe I'll get one fish shark, two fish shark. Last year I got a lot of fish shark. So. Okay, let me hit this one a little bridge. And then, uh, yeah. This performed really well here. 
sure did. one of those today. Mangrove. Imagine these bridges do get hit pretty hard. Catching big mangroves here is probably a little bit more work than I think I want to put into it. They're all jacks here. Oh, a little mutton. That's better than a jack. First one of these today. He's super sharp. I remember I learned my lesson last year. Right, these are the two inch gulp shrimps. They seem to be getting a couple bites. Decent. I don't know what this is. It's a jack. I feel I'm shaking. It's a mutton. Wow. Nice. Still short, but that's still nice to see. Sharp gill plates. Sharp gill plates. Slippery. A sea raven, right? Looks like my oyster toadfish. I'm sure that's this version of it. Pretty fish, though. I think I've just got a lot of jacks right here, don't I? Yeah, I was hoping I might see a mutton here. Hey, all things considered, that's not a bad day. Especially a little bit of a busier area. So I think tomorrow I'll try. I'm staying just south of Isla Morada. So tomorrow I'll probably get in the car and go a little bit further. Um, definitely seemed like jigging around and doing that sort of stuff was productive. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do tomorrow. Overall, not a bad day. Check the video's description. Links to everything used in this cluster. Somebody said I just need two power poles on this thing. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys on the next video. Appreciate everyone for watching.